In today's how-to, we are looking at my favourite ink blending tools. Hey crafty people, it's Tasha. Welcome back to my channel. If you like this video, then please do give me a thumbs up. And if you aren't already, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. There's various different types. There are other types that I don't have here. I'm just going through the ones that I have. So this is your typical foam blending tool um, it's not a ranger brand one it's Aladdin, i think um, but i think some of the pads are ranger and it is the same pretty much you get the handle um, and then you get all these different foams that you can velcro on and off um, and it is good for if you want to get a lot of ink down really quickly but i struggle with those personally um i don't enjoy the experience of using them as much as I enjoy ink blending with brushes. So these ones are just the cheap makeup brushes from Amazon. Um, do they work? Yeah, they're, they're okay and they're definitely something that I would um, advise if you are unsure of whether you're going to enjoy ink blending. They're great, you get a lot of different sizes in the pack but they are not as good as the sort of more expensive ones that are intended for craft. These, the crafty ones are a lot softer. So I have some of these from Trinity Stamps. Um, they're good because they can stand up, but I don't have anywhere that I can stand them. Um, and they are awkward to put in my little pot. Good, they've got the pointed end. Um, so you can get into small spaces, um, but I find they're not the best for larger areas. But I do like that they come with a cap. That is cool. So then these ones I got from uh, from a European company called Craft Allier. Um, I think they're in Spain. Um, they were awesome. I really, really love these. These are my favourite of this style brush that I have. I only have the two of them because I didn't want to order too many in case I didn't like them um, but I love them and now because we've left the EU bleh, I, I can't get stuff as easy. It would cost too much money to import it and things and gutted um, but the least said about that the better. Um, so I had I got a two pack in those two sizes and yeah I adore them. They're really really great. Now we are working our way up to, um, these are the Ultanew large blending tools. These are phenomenal. They're amazing for blending large areas. Um, they're so easy to use. They're easy to hold. Um, they are incredibly soft. It's completely flat, so you're not going to get uneven blending and um, they're brilliant for going over stencils they're just brilliant I just I really really love them and you get this cool little stand that they sit in and um, that holds the brush up off your workspace um, and just keeps it stored nicely I love them and then we have the Altenew small blending tools um, so these ones are as you can see small <laughs> um, they are good for smaller areas I wouldn't suggest that you try and um, blend an entire background with these that is going to take you a while but they are good for smaller spaces you know for stencils or um, if you just want to blend on a certain part of your whatever you're making um, then yeah these are really good so these come in a four pack um, and yeah I really like them um, they are good mm. also do have also recently brought out these tiny detail blending brushes um, which I purchased immediately and have not used yet because I have this thing about using my supplies <laughs> I don't want to ruin them and that's ridiculous but yeah these look they look really cool they've got the same um, incredibly soft and densely packed bristles but they are angled and yeah these are for getting into smaller spaces do you need them I don't know but did I want them yes and will I use them eventually <laughs> so those are my picks 
for ink blending if you're going for large backgrounds then I don't think you can get much better than the Altenew large blending tools but they are expensive so it's up to you what your budget allows and how you think that you're going to use them so if you have any other questions then please do hit me up in the comments below and if you like this video then please do give me a thumbs up I hope that you have a lovely happy safe wonderful week stay crafty bye